Today, we'll take a closer look at new opportunities and changes for Arkansans during the COVID-19 pandemic and the city of Bentonville's new world-renowned title. We'll also talk about one woman's stroke of luck at the Arkansas Crater of Diamonds State Park. I'm Abby Brandon. And I'm Kennedy Webb. Welcome to this special edition of the Bulldog Weekly. On September 22nd, the Boone County 911 Center received a call from a woman claiming her son, 48-year-old Tavis Valinez, had barricaded himself in his bedroom after waving a gun in her husband's face. Valinez surrendered peacefully after two and a half hours and is currently being held at the Boone County Sheriff's Office on charges of aggravated assault on a household member. Broadband access is becoming more readily available for low-income individuals across the city of Little Rock through the Emergency Broadband Benefit. This FCC program will provide temporary credits to lower the cost of broadband service for eligible households during the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Residents can learn more and enroll by visiting littlerock.gov slash COVID-19 and clicking on Emergency Broadband. The Natural State's Welcome Centers, after closing on March 20th of last year, are now open again from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. All of these 14 locations provide free Wi-Fi, complimentary guides, magazines, and maps to guests. The staff, consisting of certified U.S. Travel Association counselors, can provide information to citizens about tourism in the state and are taking COVID precautions very seriously. Stacy Hurst, Secretary of the Arkansas Department of Parks, Heritage and Tourism, says that Arkansas Welcome Centers offer guests a friendly entry to the natural state. For information about unique experiences and destinations in Arkansas, visit www.arkansas.com. Also in the news, the Northwest Arkansas city of Bentonville has been claimed as the mountain biking capital of the world. Bentonville has an outstanding 250 miles of regional trails in the heart of the Ozark Trail System and 130 miles of single track connected to the downtown area of the city. Mayor Stephanie Orman states that the community has built a reputation among mountain biking enthusiasts and athletes as the premier global destination for the sport. The trails amenities, infrastructure, and innovative trail network were all made possible through Bentonville city leaders and teams and have secured Bentonville's place as the heart of the trailhead in the Ozarks. The local economy has also embraced Bentonville's title by developing and attracting a number of manufacturers, rental and retail vendors, and biking enthusiasts. Visit Bentonville, Executive Director Colleen Griffin states that Bentonville is the birthplace of modern mountain biking landscape. Also in the natural state, an Arkansas native came across an exciting treasure. On June 20th of last year, 56-year-old Beatrice Watkins of Mina had a lucky day when she took her daughter and granddaughters to the Arkansas Crater of Diamond State Park in Murfreesboro. Within the first 30 minutes of dry sifting through the soil in the diamond search area, Watkins unknowingly uncovered the largest diamond found in the park in 2020, weighing over two carats. Like many others who have found treasure at this world-renowned state park, Watkins named her diamond, calling it Lady Beatrice. Watkins claims she is still in disbelief at her discovery and says she will likely keep the gem as an inheritance for her family. Her diamond is one of over 75,000 that have been unearthed at this crater of diamonds park. That's all we've got for this special edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at FHSTV-Fayetteville High for all new shows and live events. And follow us on our Instagram at FHSBulldogTV to stay up to date with all the news around the school and in the community. I'm Abby Brandon. And I'm Kennedy Webb. We'll see you next time.